In this video, I'm going to demonstrate how to record your Android screen. Firstly, by using the built-in screen recorder on your phone, which is by far the easiest way. Then by screencasting your Android display to a Windows PC and recording on the PC. And then finally, we'll do the same thing on a Mac. Time tags are below to skip ahead, so let's get started. And as I said, by far the easiest way to record your Android screen is to use the built-in screen recorder, which you can access from quick settings by swiping down from the top of the screen, and then again to access your full list of quick settings. Swipe right and you should see the screen recording option. If you're planning on using this feature frequently, I would recommend rearranging these icons by clicking on the edit button. Drag each one of them to rearrange them, and when you're done, click on the back button. By moving your screen recorder to the top of the list, you'll no longer need to have to swipe down twice to access it. Clicking on the shortcut will prompt you to confirm whether you wish to record audio, and then you can just hit start. You'll notice the little red icon which indicates you're recording. When you finish recording, swipe down again and press the big red stop notification. The recording will save to your videos folder, which, as you can see, you can access directly by clicking here. Or if I tap on the screen to go back, you'll also find your recordings in your Photos app under your library. There it is there. And you'll also find it saved in your Files app in your videos folder. If you're not sure how to transfer your new video file from your phone to your Mac, I'll link to a video I did recently demonstrating exactly that. To screencast your Android screen to your Windows PC and record directly on the PC, I recommend an excellent free app called Let's View. Start by installing the app on both your PC and Android phone. On Android, search the Play Store for Let's View, and on Windows, browse to letsview.com. Once installed, open the applications and you should land on this screen. It's important to note that both your PC and your mobile phone will need to be on the same Wi-Fi network to screencast. If you're having any difficulties connecting the app, check your Wi-Fi settings on both devices because it's most likely the cause of any issues. The mobile app will need to access your location settings before it can connect to your Wi-Fi network. Having found your Wi-Fi connection, your PC name should now show up in the mobile app like so. Before we connect, it's worth making a couple of changes. First, on the mobile app, click on Me, followed by Settings. Here you can set the resolution of the display to a maximum of 1080p, and you can set the mirroring quality to either HD, Ultra, or Super HD. Since the resolution only allows for 1080, I'm not sure whether it's worth setting the mirror quality to higher than HD, but I'll set mine to Ultra HD and we'll see what happens. The other setting that is worth checking is on your PC app. Click on the icon in the top corner of the screen, choose Settings, and scroll all the way down to the Output directory, which is where your recordings will be saved to. Click on the three dots icon and choose your preferred location. I'll choose my Videos folder, and then I'll close out of Settings. Back on mobile phone, click on your PC name, choose Phone Screen Mirroring, and hit Start Now to begin casting. The desktop app should now display your mobile phone screen, and to begin recording, click on the Record button at the top of the window. Now everything you do on your phone will be mirrored and recorded on your PC. We'll quickly switch over to YouTube just to show you something different on screen, and when you're ready to finish recording, click on the record button again to stop. Your video file will be saved to your preferred location. Don't forget to disconnect the screencast by clicking disconnect on the mobile app. Screen recording your Android phone on a Mac is exactly the same as on PC. Once again, we'll use the free app called Let's View, which we'll need to run on both our Mac and Android device. To install on your Mac, open Safari and search for Let's View. Click on the link and then click Download, and once downloaded, run through the usual install process. Do the same on your Android device. Search for Let's View in the Play Store and install the app. 
As I mentioned before, for the app to work correctly, both your phone and Mac need to be connected to the same Wi-Fi connection. If you have any connectivity issues, it'll likely be that one of these devices aren't connected to Wi-Fi. You'll need to allow the mobile app access to your location before it can connect to your Wi-Fi network. Having found your Wi-Fi connection, the name of your Mac computer will be displayed on the mobile app like so. Before connecting, it's worth changing the resolution of the screencasting and the save location of your recordings. To change the resolution on the mobile app, click on Me followed by Settings. Here you can set the resolution to a maximum of 1080p and you can set the mirroring quality to either HD, Ultra or Super HD. I'll set mine to Ultra HD. Back on the Mac application, you can change your save location for recordings by clicking on the menu icon in the top corner of the screen, choosing Settings, and scrolling all the way to the bottom of the options. Click on the three dots to change the location. I'm happy with my Movies folder, so I'll click on Open and close out of Settings. Start screencasting by clicking on your Mac name in the mobile app, choose Phone Screen Mirroring, and Start Now. The desktop app will now switch to displaying your mobile screen and to start recording, press the record button at the top of the window. To show you it's working, I'll come out of the app and quickly go into YouTube. When you're done recording, again, click on the record button in the top corner of the Let's Go app on your Mac. You can then choose open folder to view your saved video. To stop screencasting, go back into the mobile app and hit disconnect. And there we have it, that is how to screen record on an Android phone. If you found the video useful, I'd appreciate you giving me a like and hitting subscribe for lots more of the same content. And you might also be interested in finding out how to transfer files between your Mac and Android phone, or how to hide files and folders on a Mac. Until next time, my name is Anthony, thank you very much for watching.